Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to solve the second challenge in Connect Data Cloud to Agent Force and Prompt Builder. And the name of the challenge is Bring External Data into the Contact Page Layouts. To start this challenge, we need to launch the playground. For that reason, here click on this launch button. So yeah, our playground is ready. At first, we will see the instructions. So from here, we need to complete this challenge and the first instruction is about enable data streams. To complete this, move to your playground and here click on this app launcher and in this search for data cloud. So here it is selected and move to this data streams tab and here click on this new button. From here, select it as Salesforce CRM and then click on this next button. And here select it as AI plus data and then click next. Leave this space as this and then click next. Finally click on this deploy button. So here we can see that the data streams are deploying so we need to wait some time. So yeah here I got the message like 3 by 3 of data streams are deployed successfully. And here we need to get these total records and also this lost refreshed. To get these two data, just click on this refresh button. Still I didn't get it, but there is an alternate way as well. So here move to this data model tab. So here in this status, we need to get this ready. And then only we can move to the next instructions. So wait until the status gets any update. After waiting for some time, I got the status as ready. If your internet speed is good, then you will also get it. Otherwise, you need to wait more amount of time to get the status. So like this, I successfully completed the first instruction. So I am moving to the next instruction that is set up identity resolution. And to complete this, move to your playground. And here move to this identity resolution tab. And here click on this new. Select this create new rule set and then click next and here select the primary data model object as individual. So if your data model status as ready then only here you will get this individual otherwise you won't get it. And then we need to add this rule set id so copy it from the instructions that is cc id and then paste it here. After adding this just click on this next button. Then we need to add the rule set name so copy it from the instructions that is guest name and email then paste it here and also copy the rule set description add it here and here deselect this run jobs automatically and then click on the save button so it takes some time you need to wait patiently so yeah, the identity resolution is completed and then we need to click on this configure and here just click next button and here click on this configure and select the match rule name as fuzzy name and normalized email the first option and then click next. Again click next and finally click on this save button. So we can see that the match rules were updated. After that we need to click on this run rule set. So click on that. So it takes some time just please be wait with patience. So yeah I got this message like your rule set job is running check back later for results. So if you haven't got that message just click on the run rule set button again. So like this I successfully completed the second instruction as well so move with the next instruction that is verify external reservations relationship. For that move to this playground and here click on this data model tab and here click on this external reservation and move to this relationships tab. So here you need to get this external reservation object relationship. So if you haven't get that just follow all of these instructions. In my case I got this so that's the reason I'm not following that instructions again. 
so let's move to the next instruction that is moving to the setup phase and then we need to create the data cloud related list for that reason move to your playground and here click on this gear icon and here select the setup from here move to this object manager in this quick find search for contact so select this contact here click on this data cloud related list and here click on new so just click on this cross icon at the top and here select the data cloud object as external reservation and then click next copy the tail relationship name from the instructions that is reservations and then replace the name here then click on next and from here just replace this related list label as reservations and then click next so yeah we can see that related list is enabled and also we got the objects as well after that move to the next instruction that is we need to create the lightning record page for that move to this contact and here click on this lightning record page and select this contact record page here click edit button so you will get the page like this and from this left side components select this dynamic related list single and just drag and drop this into this related so you need to add that here after adding you will get this right side page and from here in this related list select it as reservations and also just scroll down to the last and here click on this add field and select the field as check in date and then click done again click add field and now select the field as check out date and then click done and also we need to add room type so select room type and then click done again click add field now select it as reservation status and then click done and here after this record id just click on this cross icon so you need to have this all four fields after that just scroll down and here in this related list filters just click on this add filter button and for the field select it as check in date and for the operator select it as not equal to and leave the value as it is and then just click on this done button so after adding this filter just click on this save button so here yeah, we can see that changes are saved successfully so like this we successfully updated the lightning record page let's move to the instruction so just scroll down to the last and here this step is optional you can do if you want so i'm just leaving this step and just scrolling to the last and here clicking on this verify step button so yeah the challenge is completed and we got the 100 points